Story Nori presents Hansel and Gretel, with music from the opera by Engelbert Humperdinck. Long ago, in a cottage on the edge of a dark wood, two children were busy doing boring jobs. Hansel was making a broom for their father to sell. Gretel was patching up the holes in some old socks. Both were hungry, but they tried not to think about their empty stomachs. As they worked, Gretel sang a simple song. Susie, pretty Susie, what's that in the straw? The geese are going barefoot, they can't find their shoes. The cobbler who made them can't make any more. Has it got the leather that he needs to... They just have to go barefoot. Use... Diddle, diddle, I'm so underfed Who'll give me 50 people some jam and some bread I could sell my bed and sleep out on the straw Then I would be bitten by fleas and Oh, the hunger is biting more If only our mother would come home at last Oh, yes I need to eat something pretty soon. For weeks, dry bread without a break. I can't take more of this tummy ache. Shush! Hansel, think about what father says when it's all too much for mother. When there's trouble to withstand God will Oh, Gretel, I wish I had something to eat. Your song makes me feel all the more hungry. I can't remember the last time we had anything but rough old bread. Well, I've got a secret. Tonight we shall have rice pudding. Rice pudding? Don't torture me with your fibs. You know how I love rice pudding. It's true, it's true. A lady in the village took pity on us. She filled Mother's empty jug with milk. Look up. There it is on the top shelf. Wow, milk! Has it got the cream on it? I'll climb up and stick my thumb in. You'll do no such thing. But isn't it wonderful? I can't work anymore. I'm dreaming of rice pudding. Me too. I'm so happy. Come on, brother, dance with me. I don't dance with soppy little girls. Little boy, come dance with me. Put your hands where I can see One by here, one by there Oh, to go without a care Little girl, I'm not so sure I'll just end up on the floor Will you show me what to do So that I can dance like you? With your foot you tap, tap, tap With your hands you clap, clap, clap One by here Something I'd have guessed Now let's see you keep that smile Trying out a harder style With your head you nick, nick, nick With your fingers you click, click, click One by here, one by there Don't you go without a care With my head I nick, nick, nick With my fingers I click, click, click One by here, one by there Don't without a care <laughs> Shh, look busy Mother's coming. What's all this horsing around? Stop it at once. Playing is for rich kids. We're too poor. There'll be no supper until you finish your work. Mother, is it true that there'll be rice pudding tonight? I'm so hungry. Didn't you hear what I said? Give me that broom. It's not half finished. What have you been doing all this time? Take that, you lazy child. Ah! Don't hit me! Oh no, look out! Now see what you've done. You wicked, wicked children. Oh, the milk is all over the floor. It's spilled.
spilt, all spilt. There's nothing for dinner. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Dear mother, don't be so upset. She started it. Silence, both of you. Go out to the woods and find strawberries. But mother, it's getting late. It's the wrong time of year for Do as I say or you'll be sorry. Out! Out of my sight! Mum! Why did I ever have children? Just eat and sleep, sleep and eat, play around and break things, make noise, make trouble. That's all you two are good for. But Mum! Get out! Mum! And don't come back until your basket is full of berries. <gasps> or I'll whip you both. Hansel and Gretel, both down at heart, left the cottage to look for strawberries. They did not hear their mother inside, quietly praying to herself. Dear God, help me feed my children. I haven't got a single crumb for them. They are naughty, but I love them with all my heart. I feel so hopeless. Send us some relief from our suffering. This is silly. How shall we find strawberries? They're not even out yet. Perhaps the little man of the wood will help us. The who? You know, the little man of the wood. A little man stands silent within the wood. He wears a little cape with a purple hood. Say what sort of man can be one who stands there like a tree. In his little purple cape and hood. The little man is balanced upon one leg. He wears a little bonnet upon his head. Say what sort of man can be one who stands on just one knee. With a little bonnet on his head. Hey, look! I don't know about your little man, but there's a little strawberry. And where there's one, there's bound to be more. We're in luck. And the children, in their excitement, left the path and wandered through the bushes, filling their basket with strawberries as they went. There were pretty wild flowers too, which Gretel picked up when she saw them. As the sun was setting, they found themselves in a clearing and they sat down beneath a fir tree. Gretel began to join the flowers together in a ring. What's that for? You shall crown me the Woodland Queen. All hail the Woodland Queen! Let's celebrate with strawberries! Oh, go on. Just one. Or two. Gretel takes a strawberry from the basket and pops it into her brother's mouth. He sucks on it. It is the most delicious taste in the world, and it is far too good to resist another one. Of course, it is not long before all the strawberries are all gone. Oops! What naughty children we are! Mother will punish us if we go back with an empty basket. Go back? How shall we go back? It's almost dark. We can't see the path. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what shall we do? What can we do? We must stay here the night. In the morning, we'll pick more berries and find the path home. You're right. I'm so tired. I can feel the sandman closing my eyelids already. But we mustn't forget our evening prayers. When at night I go to bed Fourteen angels watch my head
am I? Is it still a dream? Is this the wood? Why am I here? Hansel? Hansel, wake up, you lazy bones. Did you see them? Who? The 14 angels. They just went rushing by. You were dreaming, my silly brother. Oh, I must have been. But hold on. Is that a dream? What? Was that there last night? For now, in the clearing, in a spot that was empty the evening before, stood a cottage. It was no ordinary house, for it was not built of wood or bricks. It was all made of the sweetest, most delicious things. The hedge was gingerbread. The windows glistened with sugar. The roof was Turkish delight. At first it smelt of marzipan and nuts and sweetest raisins. And then, oh yes, of hot, yummy, gooey chocolate sauce. You could breathe it in and it made you feel warm and happy. But as you can imagine, something that looked so tasty had a magical attraction. You just felt like you were being pulled towards it, that you had to reach out and touch it, taste it, devour it. But you knew that you shouldn't. You knew that you should keep back. But you just couldn't help yourself. Oh, Gretel. Let's nibble the garden gate a bit. I'm sure it tastes delicious. I don't think we should. A house like that must belong to a princess. Then she can afford a few crumbs. Mmm. Yes, the gate does taste so good. Even better than it looks. I'm going to try the doorknob. It's made of marzipan. Come on, sister, tuck in. When are you going to get a chance to feast like this again? Uh-oh. Hold on. Who's that? The princess's grandma. She looks like a bit of an old hag. Hansel, don't be so rude. Stop! Hocus pocus, now I'm vexed. Stop right there or you'll be hexed. Can't escape the evil eye. Don't attempt to flee or fly. Keep your head still, fun, fee, fun. Hocus pocus, it's no jokers. Cherubs, watch the magic light. Face. Hansel? Now, darling, that's not very nice. I'm Rosina Daintymouth. Children are dear to me. I so love to eat. I mean, meet them. Get back! Don't come near us! Come, little mouse. Come into my house. If you think my garden gate tastes nice, wait till you try my cooking. Oh, dearie dear, aren't you hungry? Well, yes we are. Could we take something back for our mother and father too? Of course! Come inside. I have rice pudding. Rice pudding? I'd love to try some. Gretel, don't go inside. Let's run. Halt! Hocus pocus, which is charm move not as you fear my arm back or forward do not try 
fixed you are by the evil eye. Children, watch the magic head. Eyes are staring dull as lead. Now you kids, are off to bed. I suppose I'd better do as she says. It's not good for children to disobey grown-ups. Yes, Gretel mine, how well off you I'll dine. But Hansel, my boy so young, let me try your thumb. Urchin, you're a scraggy one, no more meat than a skeleton. Maiden Gretel! Bring some raisins and almonds sweet. Hansel wants some more to eat. Yes, we'll soon fatten him up. But he can't move his mouth because of the spell you put on him. Oh, yes! Hocus pocus, elder bush. Stiffen body, loosen whoosh! <laughs> my, my little miss, give your brother this. Don't cry, there's no matter. Cakes will only make him fatter. <laughs> Sister dear, beware! She makes my mouth water, this pretty little daughter. Come, Gretel, fine, sugar maiden mine. Open up the oven door. Should we bake the cake some more? Carefully look, my little pet. Is it ready yet? When in the oven she's peeping, I'll be behind her creeping. One little push, bang, the door goes clang. Then soon will Gretel be just done to a tea. Uh, I don't understand what I have to do. Just stand on tiptoe, head bending forward. Try it, I pray. It's merely play. Sister, take care. I'm such a goose, I don't understand. Please show me what to do. Like this, you see. Open the oven. It's easy. Come on, sister. Now. And I'll be showing. Whoops. Close the door. Whoops. And we'll make gingerbread with you instead. Hooray. Now the witch is dead. Hooray. The wicked witch is dead. Not inside. We've cooked her. Listening to Hansel and Gretel with music from the opera by the German composer Engelbert Humperdinck. The singers were Danai Eleni and Katie Slater. The parts of the mother and the witch were spoken by Elizabeth Donnelly. Bertie would like to thank Lewis Reynolds for allowing us to use his translation of the songs. The dialogue was written by Bertie. The music was adapted and produced by the amazing Joe Davison of Auburn Jam. The eight original pictures for Storynoi.com are by Taitia Eng. You must drop by and see them soon. Oh, and the narrator was me, Richard Scott. And a big thank you to all of you who have supported Storynoi this year. Your donations have made this Christmas special possible. <laughs>